Hey guys, it's ESPN 001 here, part 13 of Let's Play SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Unlucky number. Okay, last time we did some wrap ups, some, uh, we finished off some stuff we needed to do. Some backtracking. This time we're headed off to Shady Shoals Rest Home, the next level of the game. Exciting, guys! We're going to take care of old people now. And by the way, uh, just because you guys haven't gotten to see this yet, if you use the cruise bubble on a stone tiki, it will actually break it. I think I mentioned that before, I just wanted to show it to you guys. Okay, let's go on and enter the Mermel Air, the real next level of the game. I don't think that's necessarily quite how they entered in the show, though it's close. It's in the show and usually threw them off straight off the couch. So, the Mermel Lair. This area is annoying because it only has four socks in it and some quite annoying enemies and puzzles and stuff. It's gonna, this area is gonna take probably four parts. If not, probably a full four parts even. So we're gonna take that out. You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that. Sorry, Mermaid. Or that's okay, pretty much this area has like a lot of annoying traps and stuff in it as well. It's not leading us to something extra, is it? Hold on a second, that's making me think. Yeah, I didn't think that did anything. So yeah, this area's got a lot of annoying traps. As you might expect, don't step on the red floor panel. Or else you're gonna get a nasty little shock. Oh, whoa, 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 Mr. Hammer. That was not very kind of you whatsoever. Well, I think I accidentally rhymed that. Mr. Hammer Man, that was not very nice of you. You need to die for that. I wanted to get down here, but not for that. Ha, you're not gonna hit me now, are you? Okay, pretty much what we have to do is Try not to miss completely. Come on. Very nice. I am such an idiot. I have the freaking cruise bubble, and I just did that. Not thinking right, guys. I have the cruise bubble, and I just used the bubble bowl on something I can easily use the cruise bubble on. That's something I gotta remember. Because they don't intend for you to come to this area as late as I did. They intend for you to come here actually well before Sand Mountain. Oh! Annoying enemy here. Ouch. Yeah, this guy, he's not fun to fight. He's very annoying, actually. Is his name an Arf, I think? Yep, Arf. Use the Bubble Bowl to defeat him. Or, since we're just going to be cheap cheaters, we're just going to use the Cruise Bubble! Now basically, those guys will teleport away from you if you get close to them, so you can't get close to them, basically. But yeah, having the Cruise Bubble coming in here, and especially in Rock Bottom, makes these areas much easier than they would have been. Because going in here with only the Bubble Bowl, you really don't have anything that way. Aw, oh, I missed. I thought I was going to hit you. This area was actually, a lot of it seems like just a tutorial for using the bubble bowl. I wonder if I can get out to that hook from here. Hmm, I don't know. So these things you... Thank you for interrupting me, sign. You basically just... Excuse me! Excuse me! Okay, you do that. You saw what to do. It's not that complicated. This is what you were supposed to do. Now I think I remember. That makes sense. Oh, hey, hey, you are supposed to spin all the way that time. There we go. That's how we get out here. Like, I didn't think we had to jump over. I don't even think that jump would be possible. It's a sock. Very cool. So, first sock of the area. So now we need to spin this thing all the way back. Oh. Unfortunately, puzzles like this do require the bubble bowl. 
crap. And I just remember there's like a really, really annoying puzzle in this area. Not in this part of the Mermelair, but later on. Oh, that should be fun. Yeah, this area, a lot of it serves as just a uh, practice for learning how to use the bubble ball. Because you weren't, because it's supposed to be the only real power up you have at this time. That's actually kind of a cool little thing. It's just the invisible boat mobile, but there's no real point of it. It's just kind of a cool little extra. Okay, I've already shown you guys what to do here. Yeah, once again, it's just basically practice for using the bubble ball. Bubble ball, bubble ball, bubble ball, bubble ball. Which, by the way, that's basically sort of a hint, or just sort of almost an Easter egg. The bubble ball name is that that was the. Uh, that was in the episode Band Geeks. It was one of the earliest episodes, and it's still one of my favorites of all time. But that was the episode where SpongeBob and them do the, like, concert for Squidward to impress William. That's a great episode. That's one of my favorites. That's just, that's one of the classics. You don't mess with the frickin' SpongeBob classics, man. Those are some of the best cartoons ever. Like, frickin' Frankendoodle, man. That's still gotta be one of my favorites with that Band Geeks episode. <laughs> Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees. What? Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. So that's it. Oh, Screw you. Okay. Hope you guys don't, like, get mad at me for skipping all that stuff. It's just so boring and kind of pointless most of the time. So, there is a throw fruit elevator. Well, not even an elevator. Whatever that thing's called here. And part of the reason I came here is just because, as I told you guys before, I don't really have a whole lot of shiny objects at this time. And I don't want to go to SpongeBob's Dream until I have a fair amount more. Because you need shiny objects to unlock basically every little sub-area of that, of uh, that area. So really, I didn't see much of a point of coming here. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. 2300, man. Jerkish. That voice doesn't sound like normal Mermaid Man. I'm not sure if I'm the only one that's noticed that, but that really doesn't sound like Mermaid Man at all. Oh crap! That was that was accidental. Not supposed to happen. You guys can see what you got to do. It's pretty clear. But it's also annoying. I told you guys, Mermelair is very puzzle heavy. Is it the same path every time? Yeah, it is. I kind of don't want to be playing this right now just because freaking Walking Dead Survival Instinct just came out yesterday. So I don't really want to be playing this right now. I'd rather be playing that, but I just need to record while I have time. That game is actually pretty fun. So far, though, I'm not liking it quite as much as I like the Telltale Games one. Just because, I mean, the Telltale one, this one has more Kana. Hey, Patrick. So the Telltale one has, I know it's not really combat-based, but it has just an incredible story and some of the most memorable characters I've ever seen in a video game. This one, it's a prequel to the TV series, and don't get me wrong, The Walking Dead is one of my favorite TV series out there. Not, I guess this thing likes The Walking Dead a lot. Or I guess this thing likes The Walking Dead survival instinct more than the Telltale game. So anyway. Come on, Patrick. Almost there. Yes! Very nice. What do you have? What the heck is this one supposed to be? Aha! Uh -huh. I didn't know what that was gonna be. I actually kind of forgot. I'm wondering, can I destroy that thing? If I can destroy that, that would be quite nice. Nope, I cannot destroy it. It makes me wonder though, like maybe, maybe that clam has something to do with this. I don't really remember that well though. Aha! That, I don't know if that's how I... 
Maybe that is why, maybe that's the problem. Okay, this is probably just wasting a lot of time here. Do I even have enough shiny objects? No, I do not. Of course I don't. There we go. That's how it's done. We'll worry about that thing later, I suppose. Now you can get some sleep. We have achieved Mermaid Man's sleeping ability. I'm not gonna hit that thing yet, though. I don't really wanna waste the shiny objects for one spatula here. When I could much rather just at least go to SpongeBob's Dream and get a lot of shiny objects from there. Okay, guys, so now that we've completed that, basically now we have to start going through this area. I don't know which one to hit first. Let's go for this first. Why not? So we're going to have to do some well-timed bubble bowling here. Yeah, also at the time this is being recorded, I heard apparently some, like, 17-year-old guy, like, ask Kate Upton to come to his prom with him or something. And she actually said she might do it. I don't know if that, how true that's going to end up being. Oh my god, I would be very jealous of that guy if that actually happened. Now, once again, I don't know if that would actually happen, but oh my god, like, who's not going to be jealous of him? Honestly, though, I don't know. Well, no, she would definitely be high on the list, probably. I don't know. I might pick, like, Nathalia Ramos or something, someone who I might actually have a better chance with. Which, of course, she is, like, she's beautiful, but, you know, she's not as well-known as Kate Upton, so I would probably have a better chance. But, you know, I don't even know why I'm discussing that at all, because it doesn't really matter right now. My prom isn't for another couple months. And besides, it's not like I'm going to get a date anyway, so why does it matter if I start discussing this? Oh crap, where is he? Oh crap, I forgot about you. Alright, come here. Come here, jerky. Jerky? What are you, like some edible jerky? I, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Left wall lift activated. Great. Why couldn't you have activated both at once? So as I told you before, that guy will fly away from you if you get close to him. That's why you have to take him out from long range. We're just gonna cheat. The cruise bubble is really helpful here, but it's even more helpful in Rock Bottom when you have to fight the sleepy time robots that we saw in the Krusty Krab. Makes the game, or that area, is just so much easier. Goodbye! And here is the second half of the wall. Oh wow, no, 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 that was not supposed to happen. Even though it's not like it was death, deadly death, dyingness. There we go. Wall lift activated. Wall jump activated. Whatever the heck it's called. Now let's do a slide that doesn't have any sliding music. Oh, that's boring. Ooh, 50, 50 shiny objects. Not bad. I kind of want to call them studs, like the items from the Lego games. There we go. Two socks down from here, but only want two of the spatulas. I told you, Mermelair is pretty puzzle-heavy, and it's not one of my personal favorite areas of the game. It's got some annoying enemy encounters, all that kind of stuff. Okay. We have a spatula right here. Yes. of the security system, you need to press the first one. Press the button! When you have pressed them all, you should return... Okay, good. I didn't end up missing one. I thought I maybe missed one in the first area, but it does not look like I missed any buttons, which is a very, very good thing. Okay, one button is pressed. So actually, that master shutdown switch is what's going to take us over to this area, which is actually a mini-boss. 
So we don't really, we actually need to go up a little bit higher. But I like, can't actually, I think we're supposed to go up higher than this, aren't we? Yeah, I know we are, I just don't remember how to get up there. Eh, oh well, I'll figure it out later. For now, let's just head off to the next room, which... Okay, no, it's not the puzzle I was thinking of. So guys, I think that's good enough for this part. So, next time, we will continue through the Mermelair. See you guys then.